Wednesday. Before we get into today's video, I want to announce that I am doing a giveaway. This giveaway will consist of a PS4 or Xbox 50 pound gift card. To gain the chance to win that gift card, you need to leave a like on the video and comment down below, hashtag ModSquad for your chance to win. I will be choosing a winner from the comment section, so good luck. And with that said, let's get on with the video. What's up ModSquad, MOB back with another Division 2 video. Now in today's video I want to do a bit of a review on the new exotic AR that came with episode 3, the Chameleon. Um, I will say straight off the bat, like most weapons in the game for PvE, this, this weapon is just fine, it's very viable, it can be a lot of fun, it's easier to get the buffs. Um, but PvE aside, and I don't mean that in any horrible way by the way, just you know most guns are viable in pve but when it comes to pvp this gun is a whole different story now i won't lie when i originally saw this gun i read these talents right here and i thought this is going to be the most overpowered gun i've ever used in a division you know hitting 30 headshot grants plus 20 percent critical hit chance and plus 50 percent critical hit damage for 45 seconds that's a very long buff and not only that Hitting 60 body shot grants plus 100% weapon damage for 45 seconds. That is a crazy buff. So my original thoughts were this gun is going to put the evil bearer to shame. Because it's just so easy. It's so easy to hit 60 body shots. You have 900 RPM on this gun. There's no way you're not going to be able to get that quickly. You know, these buffs are going to be so quick and easy to get. So not only was that a concern of mine, but the current build meta was a concern as well because people running around with 500k armor, 3k skill power, very much like this build right here, and they have assault rifles up to 20k base damage, but putting out decent damage. And with this new gun having talents like it does, making it so easy to get 100% weapon damage, I just saw tanks with crazy heals running around doing crazy damage and honestly it shouldn't be that way even the devs themselves have said you know we shouldn't be able to do loads of damage be tanky and have skill power yet this is going to be the current meta i would say up to the next three weeks until we get the warlords of new york dropping because why wouldn't you you're going to run this tank build you're going to have skill power you're going to have great heals and now you're going to be able to do crazy damage with this gun right here because it may have 15k base damage but you know hitting 60 pillow shots on someone who's got 500k armor to receive 100 you know percent weapon damage is not going to be difficult by any means so i'm going to call it right now this will probably be the meta for the next three weeks like i just said um other than that i like the gun i like the way it feels um it's not a complete laser beam it does have some recoil to it it does kick up but then it stops if you if you're on a console um literally just don't touch the sticks hold down the trigger it will kick up and it will stop itself dead and it will just keep beaming so all it has is the initial kick um another thing about this gun you can see the indicators for the buffs just on the right hand side of the gun now for me they're extremely hard to see when you're um when you're like in mid gameplay if you're in pvp you know you're not really going to see that that's not what you're looking at your focus point is the cursor what's in front of you and it's very distracting trying to trying to look and pick up that tiny little hexagon there in the corner you know it's just i feel like the indicators need to be a lot better on this gun especially for pvp pv doesn't matter too much because you're probably going to be sat in cover so you do that and you have time you know to look at it whereas in pvp you don't get that time um, pvp is not going to be slow enough for you to you know just be waiting around the corner and, oh let me check my buff let me check my buff. I'm thinking maybe they need to uh, put the indicators under the, you know, the armor bar or something like that. You know, where the skills are, grenades, where the usual buffs um, pop up in. Maybe just color code them or something like that. But where they currently are, they're just not standing out enough, even when they're full. You know, full orange. If I'm flicking like that, if, if I'm in the middle of a fight and I'm all like this, I'm not really paying attention to see if that, that little hex gun is full up. So yeah guys, that's my review on the Chameleon Exotic Assault Rifle. It's good, don't get me wrong, I'm kind of glad it's not overpowered. I was very, very worried it was going to be extremely overpowered. It was going to be, you know, it was going to put the Eagle Bearer to shame like I said before. But, you know, it's, it's a situational gun, is the way I would like to put it. And you need a certain build in order to make it work. 
Anyway, guys, let me know what you think down in the comment sections below about this gun. If you've picked it up, whether you like it, what you feel about it, what kind of build you're using it with. Don't forget to smash that like button to support the channel. Subscribe if you're new for lots more Division 2 content. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Mob Squad. Managed to extract Chernenko. We've lost the asset. We'll retrieve him later. Focus on Keener. What about the deal, ma'am? Fuck the deal! Fuck Chernenko and fuck you! Keener is the objective!
shit. These explosions are really messing up the park. Enemy deployed a turret! Targeting enemy.
Enemies on the flank. Styles detected. Explosives detonating everywhere. What the fuck is going on?
everywhere. Kill them, dumbass. It's easy. Aim and pull the fucking trigger. There are too many. Can someone get a fucking mark on Kira? roller coaster northeast of your position. It's riddled with cleaners.
scam. Thank you. 